Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Uh, got a very interesting question here, doing a letter from a fan from you guys. Uh, the student has a pretty strong first name, so I think I'll refer to him simply as E. And uh, he sent, a, again, a very thoughtful letter over here that addresses a topic that I think is um, kind of interesting, sort of important individuality, but uh, let's get into it. Hey, Anthony, I've been a huge fan of your channel for a while, and I want to ask you something I believe that is important to address. How do you feel about the sort of social stigma or ridicule that black people who listen to other types of music, uh, rock, electronic, experimental face when presented to their uh, peers? I personally enjoy rock music uh, a lot, but most of my peers who listen to a lot of hip hop and rap say that the music I listen to is trash. Um, based on a simple assumption that rock music is inherently bad and that it's white people music, ultimately he asks, uh, how would you counter this argument uh, and how do you feel about uh, racial generalization of certain genres? Um, okay, <laughs> so many layers to this question, but I felt like I couldn't not say anything out of fear that there may be other people out there that have a similar experience and... Um, you know, may also be looking for some kind of answer or, you know, assurance that, um, you know, that, that they should just do whatever they want and that they're on the right path as long as they're doing whatever they're passionate about and, you know, listening, listening to the kind of music that they, that they want to listen to. Listen, here at the end of the day, uh, w w what would you say to counter or win this argument? Truly, you have already won because you're being yourself. And that's honestly one of the hardest things you can be, you know? It's so easy to just give in to peer pressure, give in to social pressure, give in to, um, you know, whatever the trend or the prevailing idea of the day is and just go along with that, you know, because that's what most people have been doing, you know, since like the, the dawn of human civil civilization. And how many times has that very mentality led to like... <laughs> some of the worst atrocities in human history, okay? Don't feel like you have any obligation to give in to this sort of peer pressure, and don't feel like you have any obligation to uh, honestly fix this problem because I think this problem is sort of written into the, into the human code, you know? Like, I, I think for people to just kind of you know, give in to peer pressure, give in to the mob, give in to the crowd. It's it's just, uh, I don't know, it just happens so often and it happens over and over and over at different points in history. And it seems like we just never really learn from it, you know? So I think the problem is kind of bigger for one man or one person to fix, honestly. Um, and I don't know if having a debate on this issue is really worth it at the end of the day. But again, I do want to reiterate that I, I stress to you that you're doing what you want to do. You're on the right path. You're being yourself. You're doing your own thing. You know, um, not that listening to something that is popular or listening to hip hop is necessarily bad because it's popular. You know, if, if that's truly what you're passionate about and what you want to do, then go for it and do it. You know, but to see other people sort of putting you down and putting down what you like just because it's, a little out of the norm, it's a little bit of an anomaly, you know, don't give into that kind of negativity, don't give into that kind of pressure, you know, and even to sort of answer it and feel like I need to argue this back, you know, is kind of giving into it a little bit, because at the end of the day, it's going to be a waste of your, you know, energy, it's going to be a waste of your effort. And ultimately, the people that are making fun of you and are trying to hurt you and put you down over this aren't doing it because they think hip hop is better and they're just like the biggest hip hop fans on the planet. They're doing it out of a need to go along with the crowd, a need for understanding, a need for consistency, a need for security, because, you know, really when you come across something that you don't understand and you don't know why this person is doing that thing, whether it be you know, dressing a certain way or listening to a certain type of music, when people lash out at that, it's because they don't get it, you know, either that or, you know, they wish they had the guts to go off and do whatever they wanted to do, you know, and chase their passions, you know, put their true and honest beliefs out there, actually think for themselves, you know, um, but if you did want to sort of get tangled up, you know, in this sort of argument, in this sort of debate. I mean, the first thing that I would point out is, 
I mean, at its roots, rock music is very much a black art form as well. You know, when you go back to the blues artists and the rhythm and blues artists and the earliest rock and roll artists as well, um, you know, and even some of the biggest ones to come after that era in rock and roll, I mean, Jimmy fucking Hendrix, uh, vast majority of them (laughs) black. So to just kind of simply call it a white art form is kind of inaccurate. Um, you know, and that's not to say that uh, black listeners should avoid white uh, rock bands, you know, which is also a preposterous claim and assumption. Um, you know, and this is also the case for electronic music, too. I mean, you know, I'm not talking about the, uh, you know, some of the earliest uh, movements in electronic music over in Europe. But when you're talking about like eras of electronic music, like Chicago House, for example, you know, lots of the producers, lots of the artists from that area during that time were in fact black. You know, so if you wanted to kind of get a little factual and historical in the midst of this conversation, you know, point out that there are some incredible and some really important uh, black musicians and artists in the genres, um, you know, during uh, their earliest days, during some of their most significant moments, or even today, you know, to just kind of simply write it off as white people music is sort of silly. Um, you know, maybe even start a conversation uh, about like, why is why is blackness or black expression limited to this one thing? Shouldn't it be whatever we want it to be? Seems kind of silly. Seems kind of stupid. Um, shouldn't people just be allowed to, you know, um, I guess kind of express themselves the way that they want artistically, regardless of what their race is? Seems kind of limiting. You know, why would you want to limit black expression to a particular thing? Um, you know, if, if you really want to get into you know, this discussion, talk about sort of the big and negative ideas that sort of fuel that mentality. You know, don't turn it into a, you know, the like, what is white music? What is black music? Blah, 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 blah. Because honestly, that's that's the pettiest and most divisive way of looking at it. You know, look at the big and uninformed root ideas that sort of fuel that mentality and try to dismantle those. Because honestly, race is such a hot button issue in this country to get most people to have an honest discussion on it to any degree is really difficult because everybody's so passionate on the issue, you know, but it can be a little bit easier and a little bit safer to talk about the root causes of those biases and those prejudices, you know, at, at, um, uh, because, you know, you're sort of talking about it more in the abstract. You know, you're talking, you're not talking about it in terms of white versus black versus Latino versus Asian versus, you know, so on and so forth, which, you know, it's very easy for people to not only give into mob mentality in the crowd, you know, but it's also easy for people to kind of categorize themselves and, you know, um, uh, latch on to what they view as their identity and just defend that you know, to their very death, because even if they're wrong, in a sense, they feel like they're defending themselves, you know, to sort of give up on this idea that they have in their heads would be to give up on themselves and give up on their identity to a degree. Um, But now I feel like I'm just getting way too abstract with this question, and I'm not really, you know, completely answering what you asked me. Um, You know, what do I think about the racialization of certain genres? I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, unfortunate. I don't fully agree with it. I think it's kind of incorrect, um, you know. It's uh, you know, especially when it comes to uh, whether or not certain people should be listening to particular genres of music. I think it's absolutely silly. Um, you know, uh, I, I can't think of a uh, you know like a like a mainstream rock band like let's say you know Weezer came out tomorrow and said we make music for white people. And that's who we make music for. It's really silly for you to be a black person and listening to us. Don't you feel weird? Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel ridiculous being black and listening to Weezer? Um, you know, like to, to sort of throw that question out there, throw that, you know, uh, uh, sort of assertion out there w- would be ridiculous. You know, it would be silly. And, you know, anything that when you kind of reverse the roles in the original role, if it's silly, chances are if you reverse it, it's silly as well. You know, think about if Weezer fans went around like berating black kids who they found listening to Weezer, you know, um, and, and honestly, you know, I had a similar experience in high school when I liked hip hop music or I thought like goth metal was cool or, you know, I was really into 
um, you know, punk music from like 30 years ago. Like there were white kids at my school that were just like, you know, why do you listen to that crap? Why do you listen to that crazy thing? You know, you guys are gay. You paint your fingernails and you wear dark clothes and blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, obviously there was an incredible amount of nastiness coming from those people. And, um, you know, and, and just like the situation that you're talking about here, that stemmed from a lack of understanding, that stemmed from confusion, that stemmed from a lack of acceptance, that stemmed from, um, you know, insecurity, either in their ideals and beliefs, or, you know, just this need for everything to be easy to understand, uh, as far as human behavior that they found immediately around them. Um, you know, and that just doesn't extend to, you know, music, but also politics as well. You know, I had a similar experience when, um, you know, I got as a teenager featured in an issue of Newsweek because I was going to Iraq war protests and, um, I got quoted in like a paper and then, you know, I, I got interviewed in Newsweek and, um, you know, they were asking me why I was so young and engaged in politics and the political process. I don't even think I was old enough to vote yet. Um, and, uh, you know, there were a lot of people who were attacking me saying, don't you support the troops? What do you like terrorists? What do you hate our president? And it's like, it, it's just nothing about that. You know, you're not even really trying to understand where I'm coming from. You're just trying to attack the fact that you don't get it and you don't, you're not trying to sort of, you know, really kind of comprehend the issue, you know, and, and that's really it at the end of the day. So you've already won. Keep doing your own thing. Do you? Nobody looks back on their younger years and wishes, oh man, I, I wish I spent more time being like everyone else. No one ever in human history has ever fucking said that. <laughs> so uh, listen, if you give in 15 years down the road, you, you will regret that. You will regret it, you know? Um, just keep doing what you want to do on your own terms. And that at the end of the day is the most important thing. All right, you're the best. I will catch you guys in the next video. There's another video next to my head over here. Click on that or subscribe to the channel forever.